Hello, YouTubers, and welcome to another beer review with me, Peter, the Master of Puppets. Looking all metal, or, well, I guess I usually kind of do that, but today I am going to Oldborg Metal Festival and starting off with some awesome beer before I go drink shitty beer. Uh, you're going to see this way after the festival. Uh, I worked there as a volunteer yesterday. Today's my day off. I'm going to see this band, Mercenary, one of my favorites. Svaso, Sepultura, uh, tomorrow there's like Carcass and stuff. It's going to be fucking insane. Uh, but yeah, as I said, I want to review a good beer before I start off with all the shitty stuff. So, and today I can actually drink because I'm not working, which is awesome. So today, guys, <laughs> we're going to be looking at another Omnipolo beer. One I actually already had at CBC. And this is none other than the Omnipolo Magic 90,000. Blueberry Smoothie IPA. I think it was called Blueberry before. And I've gotten that in comments so often when I review an IPA or a beer with blueberries from uh, Scandinavia. And there's a few people who are like, oh, it's not called Blueberries, it's called Bilberries. But the thing is, in Danish, you don't have a specific name for the Scandinavian variant of blueberries. They're just called Blubber. So that's why we translate it into blueberry. But I guess it's actually called a bilberry because the color is slightly different and something. But whatever. Let's call it blueberry. Or bilberries, as it says on the label. But this one, guys, bilberry smoothie IPA. It sounds insane, but it's not just like uh, just bilberries. It's got some cool shit in here as well. Listen to this. It's brewed with barley, wheat malts, oats, lactose, hops, uh, blueberry puree, or bilberry puree, yeast. Uh, almond and pecan nuts and vanilla. So a blueberry, pecan, almond, wheat, oats, lactose <laughs> smoothie IPA. <laughs> Sounds insane. So had this at CBC, so I kind of know what to expect. So without further ado, let's get this one cracked and poured. Now that looks like a fucking fruit beer or a uh, smoothie in a glass. It's like super deep dark red because of the bilberries. <laughs> with a pinkish head. I really hope this is going to be as good as I remember it from uh, having it at CBC. But let's check out the aroma on it. Oh. <laughs> this smells like dessert. Like a sorbet smoothie dessert thing. Holy crap. So much blueberry, but also, or bilberry, but there's definitely also hop notes like sweet citrus, orange, and kind of tropical nuances. Oh, this smells awesome. There's a hint of the vanilla, a sweet kind of lactose -y thing going, a slight pecan, but just like maybe more almond actually. Also got to give a big shout out to beerdom.com for sending this one out. This was part of the big box of 45 beers they send out for a moving in slash early Christmas present, you guys rule. Uh, check them out, it's a great Belgian web shop where you can get beers like this crazy mofo, but it smells amazing. So without further ado, let's give it a taste. Cheers guys, and thanks to Beerdom for the beer. Yep. <laughs> that is how you fucking brew a fruit beer. Let me tell you that. It's like fruit beer meets... Oh, there's the vanilla. This is like fruit beer meets IPA. Oh, this is so refreshing. You're getting this kind of chewy creaminess from the, the oats and the wheat. And I guess the lactose too. And you're getting some sweetness. I guess, again, from the same things. And then you get this blueberry or bilberry character with a bitter hop flavor, citrus fruit, almost going into slight tropical nuances. It really tasted like, it tastes like a berry smoothie in alcoholic beer form. The fuck? Mm. I'm getting hints of pecan nut on the back end with hints of Wait, more almond, yeah, but hints of the pecan as well, like a roasted, toasted, oh, more toasted, lightly toasted pecan. Mm. The vanilla, this is just going down so crazy. This would be a great summer beer, it would be a great dessert beer, it would pair great with desserts in general, and it would be really good actually, with, in Denmark at least, with the Danish Christmas cuisine with our dessert called Vizetamang. This would be the shit with that. This is really tasty. Um, a lot of people diss fruit beers, but I guess this is like a mix of fruit beer and IPA. Uh, but the Magic Number series from Omnipolar are really damn cool. I have two more, 411 and 420 I think. 
Vanilla Waffle Wheat Ale, and the other one is like a Wild Rhubarb and Strawberry IPA. But this is great. So I gave the, I think 421 was the name of it, at 93. I think this is better, but it doesn't break 95 still. I mean, it's still a fruit beer, so, well, it's fucking good for a fruit beer. So, 94, but it's still a fucking good grade for a fruit beer. I think so far this is definitely my favorite in the Magic Number series. This is so good. Hmm. So yeah guys, a 94 for the Omnipolo 90,000 Bilberry Smoothie IPA with vanilla pecans and all kinds of shit. It's delicious. Almost like a the smoothie, sorbet, dessert, hoppy thing. <laughs> it's really nice. And uh, yeah, thanks a bunch to Beer Gym for sending me this one. And if you can't get it near you, you can still get it on Beer Gym because... I'm pretty sure they still have it. I checked their website not too long ago. But great stuff, guys. As always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page, and Twitter, and Instagram. And let me know what you think of the Omnipolo Magic Number 90,000 Bilberry Smoothie IPA if you've had a chance to try it. Now I'm going to say cheers. See you guys in another video.